Now I'd like to talk a moment about image optimization. Opening up an image. Whenever a new image is acquired, your image will always launch for the first time with this dotted or dashed line box in the image. This is called the smart box. The smart box assigns a window and level to the image based upon everything that is seen by the software or by the computer inside the smart box. In other words, the smart box looks at the darks, the grays, and the lighter areas that are contained within the box, averages the brightness and contrast of those areas together to formulate a final window and level for the entire image. So if we change the size or the placement of the smart box, we will change the window and level as in this example. First, I will change the placement by bringing my cursor into the smart box until it turns into a black crisscross. Then I'll use the left mouse button to drag and drop the smart box to a different location, thereby changing the window and level because I am changing the grays, the blacks, and the shades that are contained within the smart box. I can also change its size. I can change its height. I can change its width. I can change its overall size. And by dragging it to a new place, I will be changing the win window and level each time I drop the smart box. Again, this box will always drop in the center of your image and will always help get you close to an optimum window and level provided you have positioned the anatomy well and placed it in the center of your field. There is a fine adjustment now that can be applied and that is using the center scroll wheel. If you press down on the center scroll wheel of your mouse until your cursor turns into a squiggle on the screen, by dragging that squiggle to the right, we introduce more gray. To the left, we introduce more contrast. By raising it up, we make the image darker. By moving the cursor down, we make the image brighter. So we have a fine adjustment of the window and level for the image with the window and level tool, again, which is located on the center scroll wheel of the mouse by pressing down on the center scroll wheel. That's how we window and level or adjust the brightness and contrast of the image before sending it off to the physician to be reviewed. The save and accept button will lock in that window and that level that we have assigned to the image prior to a DICOM send. And all images must be saved and must be accepted before sending them to the review station. Next we have orienting the image, rotating it to the right, rotating it to the left, flipping it horizontally, flipping it vertically. And we also have applying a mask to the image. If we want to cut down or focus the, review, the viewer's eyes on the image, we can block out areas of unneeded anatomy or unneeded exposure.